Today we're gonna do melted crayon art for a fun art project that I'm really excited to share with you. Uh, I'm on the floor because we're actually gonna be putting a tarp down because I don't wanna get our table messy. Sometimes when you melt the crayons with a blow dryer, they might splatter, um, which I'll get into later. So I'm really excited to share this with you and I'll show you the supplies that we need to get started. We're gonna be using the crayons as the flower pot and then once they melt, they're gonna spread out and look like branches. It's gonna be really cool. So let me show you the supplies we need. For this project, all you'll need is a drop cloth, a canvas, crayons, flowers, I'll put a link in the description, a hot glue gun, hot glue gun sticks, and a blow dryer that has high heat. I found crayons that match the color of my flowers, so they were kind of in the pink uh, family, and that's it. The first thing I'm going to want to do is take the wrappers off all of my crayons. I think it's going to look cool for this project, and you can either leave your wrapper on or take yours off. The next step is gonna to be to glue the crayons onto the canvas around the center at the bottom. You'll want adult supervision for this because the hot glue gun does get really hot and so we don't want any little burns or anything like that. So go ahead and start with your first crayon. I laid it out, I did uh, pinks, then purples, and then blues because that's the color palette that I think will look pretty for this project. So I'm gonna start with my first crayon and I'm gonna carefully uh, put hot glue gun in a straight line on the crayon like this and then I'm going to carefully put it in the middle like that and I'm going to repeat these steps until I do all of the colors. Okay, so now for the fun part, this is where we get to see the crayons actually melt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the blow dryer on to high heat and you wanna hold it at an angle pointing down and we're gonna watch to see the crayon melt. I'm gonna stop about three fourths of the way because we're gonna add flowers on later. So let's see what's gonna happen. Now that we have our crayons melted after we uh, used our blow dryer on them, um, I'm gonna decide if I, where I wanna put my flowers. So I have three or four here, and now I'm gonna place them where I think they look best um, on top to make it look like a flower pot. So I think I'm gonna put one right here, maybe another one over here, and let's see how it will look with four. I think I like them all right here. Um, I wanted to, to make sure that the stem is connected to the flower so it looks like an actual bouquet. Once you have placed where you think you want your flowers to go, you can go ahead and use your hot glue gun again with parent supervision and glue them down to the canvas. And I like these flowers because they don't have a stem sticking out so it's very easy to glue down. And like I mentioned earlier, I'll put a link in the description. So this is what the final piece looks like. I think it turned out really cute and I'm very happy with it. Uh, as you can see, I didn't quite center it in the beginning and I left a little space here and I'm actually gonna use this space to write a little message to the person that I wanna gift it to. So I'm actually glad it kind of turned out that way. Um, I hope yours turned out just as cute. And if you like this art project, hit like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Thank you.